this is Leland Snyder for Frack Times. I'd like you to take a second and listen to the sound. It sounds like a jet fighter tearing through the sky or maybe a power washer being used extremely close up. That's not the case. What you're hearing is a blowdown from a little over two miles away. So take a listen. Take note at certain points in the, the video that you could see that there's adiabatic cooling happening to the pipes because you could see a fog coming off the ground on the pipes near the facility. At, at times, if you look, you'll catch a glimpse of it. You'll also not, notice when I go into the time lapse, which was one frame per second, that Basically, I walked away from a time-lapse camera to let it get the film video. Evidently, when I walked away, a worker cranked up the valve, and you're going to see that in the time-lapse. You can't imagine how loud this thing is. Depending on the wind, it could be totally deafening. Good draw concerts to sing.
So Helen Humphreys informed me that the blowdown was scheduled to start at 10 a.m. While I don't know when it started, I passed by the facility at about 11.25 to find uh, what you see here. And she said that it ended at some time about 1 p.m., which would have fit my observations. But last year I heard stories of another type of venting that occurs, and that's at night. And I've heard about three stories of this, where they'd hear a noise at night, a smell would come over their house, they'd call the inspector, I don't know whether it's DEP or EPA, the inspector would come out and the next morning, sniff the air and say, I don't smell anything. And um, you could even look at the Williams Central Compressor Station hearing where there are people questioning whether when an inspector is called, will they come out on time? So, while Helen Humphreys assured me that they take multiple tests to make sure that they adhere to pollution controls, what I saw on the DEP site was two violations in 2013, and I can't see an associated fine. As at least the fines are not listed with the violation docket, and there is a field where you list the, the fine assessed. I called the DEP on this, or the PR rep for the Northeast region. I have not had a response to the state. In addition to that, there was a stack test in 2013, and for some reason, a note on it states that the DEP was not present. And again, I asked, I sent an email to the DEP PR rep for the Northeast region asking why the DEP was not present at this test. And I also received no answer from that. I'll try to follow up on these and I'll post the update on that in the description field. So that's the video. The noise was absolutely deafening. I couldn't believe it. I wish I had a sound meter there. And um, as always in closing, what counts is your opinion. And in closing, I'll leave you with a clip of something that I feel that we in the Southern Tier are trying to protect, which is our property values of our vacation homes. And it's the simple things that bring it value. So take care.